Hello ladies and gents, what I am going to make in this video is a soup for up to 6 people, assuming it will be eaten for lunch or as first course. If this is just going to be your dinner, I think perhaps 2 or 3 portions can be expected to come out of the kettle. It is that time of the year again in which a part of the world celebrates Halloween. My country does not actually, but I would like to do some cultural appropriation. Hence the main ingredients we are going to use today, sweet potato and pumpkin. Right, let's get on with listing the ingredients. One small pumpkin, two sweet potatoes, one large or two small onions, one cayenne pepper, one orange, one piece of ginger root, approximately half your thumb size, half a teaspoon of milk coriander, one teaspoon of milk garlic, 750 milliliter of chicken broth, 250 milliliter of coconut milk and cooking oil or butter. Well, let's get started with the preparation of the soup. First, we need to take this pumpkin and put a blade to it, in order to sacrifice it to the god or demon this Halloween is supposed to honor. I certainly recommend taking a large bowl to dump the seeds and so on into. That will be slightly less messy and easier to offer it to the green goblin. I mean, to put it into the green bin. When you have opened up the pumpkin and removed the seeds, I recommend cutting the thing into smaller pieces before removing its skin. After that you can dice the edible parts, which you can then set aside for the time being. Now it is time to skin the two sweet potatoes and your onion and dice them. The cayenne pepper and the piece of ginger root need some dicing as well. Make sure you put them together with the pieces of pumpkin. Heat up some butter or cooking oil in a pan. Add all of the pieces and let them sweat for a couple of minutes. Add a teaspoon of milk garlic and coriander. Now let the whole matter sweat on for a couple more minutes, but not so long it starts browning. Get it all of the heat for the next stage and get a soup worthy kettle. Add 750 ml of chicken broth and get it boiling. Add the stuff you have been sweating and let it boil for about 25 minutes until the pumpkin is done. In the meantime, take the one orange we reserved for this moment and press the juice out with a citrus press. It is to be added to the soup kettle once those 25 minutes have passed. Do not forget to add 250 ml of coconut milk too. Any leftover milk can be drank, no need to let it go to waste. Make sure you stir and warm it up for 5 more minutes. Here comes the final stage, that is to make the soup smooth. If you are like me and entirely forgot it about not having an immersion blender, a potato masher will also help. Just carefully mash the bits inside the soup, after which a whisk can be used to stir a bit. The result might get close enough, although it will not be as smooth and it still contain bits of vegetable and potato. Although the latter may even be of your preference. Your method may vary. 